The seventh and final match between Kala and Scan. Scan starting the upper end corner as the red Terran upper left hand corner. We have Kala as the gray Protoss. Or kind of white, whitish gray. Almost, almost gray. I'd still call it white. It's like the, there's like a, there's like the white side of gray and then there's the gray side of white, right? I would call that the, it's still white, but grayish. I don't know why I feel like commentary colors has to, the, the color commentary. <laughs> that's what, that's what this is to start. It's the color commentary. The dun dun Anyway, last match, I feel like <laughs> not my best commentary, but Scan playing a little bit off. Playing a little bit off. Uh, didn't pull the SCVs to repair that initial supply depot. Played a little bit risky in going for that follow up command center. And didn't have enough troops on the ground to deal with an, a fantastic engagement from Kala onto that third base, natural expansion. And just really perfect engagement from him. Shuttle getting right on top of that top siege tank, the Zealots able to press in the Dragoons pincering from both directions and really able to tar target fire right on top of the siege tanks. Maybe if the SCVs pulled a little bit sooner and were able to provide more disruption against the Dragoons, something along those lines. Point being, I'm wondering if that's a fatigue thing or what, but Scan, yeah, playing a little bit off overall in that last match. So I think it's, I think it might be, I'm trying to think what the overall count is. I'll have to cycle it back in my brain. I think two wins have gone to Kala. And three wins, four wins to scan already? I don't know. Not that anything's keeping track or whatnot. This is, again, just for map testing. This is, again, Turbine. Check out teamliquid.net. And if voting is still up, vote on the New Worlds map contest. This is, again, sponsored by Esports Fund. Special shout-out to those guys keeping Brood War alive, basically. Rust Brain, etc. They have a really good committee as well. 14 Command Center. Inside Scan Space, 12 Nexus and a gateway to follow. Let's see if that probe scout, yeah, it's gonna go south first, so most likely not gonna be able to get that initial scouting information against scan. Barracks being produced. That's a that's a counter thing I've been thinking about where I'm like, okay, if he does go for an earlier gateway, how far, knowing that a 14 command center's coming and you're probably just getting the scouting information that you're not actually gonna be able to get into the base, is the scouting information worth it? Even then, maybe not things to think about. Actually, I would love to hear, like, the actual... Maybe I could ask Scan what he thinks of this base. <laughs> or of this map, I should say. Overall. And his thoughts. Because that's the guy... I mean, he's the pro to ask, right? Anyway. Front door is sealed. We do see an initial zealot being produced, which, why not? Honestly, after the first thing. I almost wonder if it's like once you realize that you didn't scout this initial position if it would be worthwhile also to just pull the probe back and wait on a Dragoon or a Zealot to go from there. We do see the cybernetic score whooping at about halfway finished. There we do. Okay. Here we do. We see this Zealot being produced initially to deny that information at least comparatively from Scan. So Scan might have been able to sneak in but he went counterclockwise so he's going to get denied info as well. Which I think Kala being the wiser to do this time. Probe, uh, eating some base damage to that initial marine, second marine being produced. He does want to try to keep eyes just to see if that barracks is continuing to be lit up. Factory, down we do, no second gas just yet for scan. And is not motioning to go ahead and take that additional refinery. We'll keep an eye on there, that, because but it suggests he's going to go for maybe a little bit lighter on the factories to start, maybe even go for a quick command center simulator comparatively. And we do see one gate into Robo to follow things up. Second factory for scan, maybe gonna opt for more vultures to start. And going straight to armory, interesting. Straight to armory to maybe get a jump start on level one weapons upgrade, machine shops planting down, still no refinery at his natural expansion. Some Zelts and Dragoons moving across. We do see this SAV camping out at that 9 o'clock base with no scouting information. That is three Marines. So more than the typical because Scan wants to make sure he doesn't end up losing that depot once again on his front. Now has that refinery building in that back corner. 
I like this play for the early armory, though. It suggests perhaps that he's going to end moving cross probe, blockading to deny that information, chasing down that SCV. Is that SCV going to be able to cycle around? No. So both players playing mostly in the dark. However, Kala knows that there's at least three Marines on the front, comparatively. Double machine shop. Charon missile upgrade. Interesting. Opting for very, very early potential Goliath tech. Observatory is up there, comparatively, and level one weapons being upgraded, which... And Kala going for a quick third. This might be scary, because this early in upgrade timing suggests that Scan is going to go for some sort of early pressure. And he's getting in his third factory. Yeah, definitely. Going for a third factory here. Just about the six minute mark. Didn't mean to do that <laughs> zoom right there. Call it with this third base. I don't know that he's going to be able to hold it back. Because first of all, he's sitting just on two gateways here. Does have an observer making its way that direction. I like the engineering bay to the top to go ahead and scout any sort of shell or anything else right there. He's got that probe nearby, plus that pylon again. He's going to be able to wander in. He's going to see the two factories here. Should see the third factory. Now the question is, is how does he react? How does he react to the third factory? And if he scoots down, I'm wondering if he's going to see the armory. Okay, he does see the armory and sees the armory spinning. About halfway finished. He's grabbing a third gateway. I almost want to see a fourth gateway to deal with this. We do have that robotic support bay and that shuttle produced. Two Goliaths wandering out. Creep colony very quickly getting wiped out. But here's the thing with this amount of Goliaths and this amount of siege tanks. With, what is this? With level one weapons upgrade, I think. Was there even siege tech upgrade? I don't even know that there was siege tech upgrade. I'm trying to mentally think. I think there was. There had to be, right? Brain fart. A lot of sea chinks, a lot of Goliaths. That shuttle's not going to get a lot accomplished. And that's going to give Scan an opportunity, perhaps, to just dive into Kala at his third. He does have four gateways up now, but might not be enough to defend this. Observer getting wiped out. Pulled back. It looks like Scan is going to go ahead and opt for a command center. But level one, but he's going to, so I assume this is going to be a level two weapons attack. Now getting siege check. Yeah, so he skipped siege check altogether. And might just try to take this on the ground just through pure tanks and Goliaths. Kala moving forward with a significant ground army. Without siege tech, actually, this is a very risky command center to take. And I'm wondering if Kala is going to realize that siege tech wasn't upgraded. I feel like that must just be a mistake, right? Because I'm curious why you would go booster over... Maybe he's just like, okay, I expect just straight drops and nothing but drops. Weird build. It's just weird. That's all I'll say. Level 1 weapons upgrading, gateway, and fleet beacon. So very rapid push to carriers for Kala comparatively. He wants to have these Dragoons to perhaps disrupt a command center move out. Siege tech complete. Some additional siege tanks and vultures being produced. Scan going to wander out to go ahead and try to establish his third. So despite all that, not really getting punished for it. Floating, he's going to use that barracks to spot that army. There, This is another opportunity for a two-pronged attack. So Kala is like, you know what? One with that last time, maybe I'll be able to sneak it. But I think this is just too many siege tanks. And he's playing it really carefully. Plus that level one weapon, weapons upgrade. I don't think he's going to get a lot much else accomplished. Reaver might get a free shot. Some Dragoons engaging that barracks from the top might end up costing their lives, though. Some Zealots being taken out. Reaver on the low ground. Good hit on that clump of tanks. Are they going to get a second shot? Gets a second shot on that clump of tanks. Beautiful hit right there. Continue to press into this, and honestly, Scan's going to have to lift off and back off, I think, because this is enough Dragoons that he might be able to win, get another quick win if Scan's not careful. More siege tanks gathering up. Another barracks being built. No, he's going to keep the command center on the ground, though. Feels like he has enough siege tanks that he can just press through this. And he... Oh, yeah, he's correct. But still, with that amount of siege tanks being wiped out, with his attack forces being thinned, 116 supply to 78. Big mid-game win for Kala. That's certainly going to keep... With all of that attacking, that's certainly going to keep Scan back in a defensive slot, right? And that is going to give time for this carrier tech switch. 
So Kala, able to wipe out a lot of attack forces, do enough damage. I like this build, that kind of concept where it's like, go ahead and attack the third. Don't wipe out the third. Push into it. Thin the forces out, force them into a defensive position, and then do the tech switch early there. He's going to go ahead and take that 9 o'clock base as well. I'm just going to put him on four bases. He's already got two carriers out and level one weapons. And here's the other critical thing. Every time this comes up, I'm like, go check out Naokin's video on this exact topic. Level one armor. He does have... This is one thing for Scan. He does have potential for that early Goliath attack. Ooh, plopping down all sorts of factories to have a very rapid follow-up of some vultures in the mid-game. So seven, seven factories producing vultures and potentially Goliaths. Two machine shops up above for total factory count of nine. But really the critical thing is two machine shops producing the tanks and, you know, vultures, Goliaths, otherwise. Shuttle wandering around the perimeter. Call it taking a little bit more of a defensive stance rather than an aggressive stance. Some vultures sneaking their way across. Let's see if Scan can get this done with vultures, but currently Kala just, keep in mind a lot of the supply is in these carriers. They're just starting to move out. 166 supply to 160. So big wins. Vultures getting cleared out. Looks like they're gonna try to wander up here. They are gonna be able to get this probe kill. I don't think Kala was with Ernesty setting up to go ahead and take that base. A lot of zealots produced underneath. But here's, here's the trouble for Scan. Has a decent Goliath force out, but this is carriers. Ooh, the carrier is actually going to guide in, so going to disrupt the turrets, so the Zealot's going to be able to drop on the low ground. It should be able to clear this out otherwise. That's going to force Scan back even further into defensive position. Might be able to take this turret out. And critically, if he can wander up and maybe get that armory, S some siege tanks up here, that's not going to help it will help against the Zealots, but it's not going to help against the Carriers. Some Goliaths moving their way back across. Kala not in position to go for a dive and attack into this third while all of these units were back here. Maybe a little bit of an overcommit. Those Carriers backing off and repositioning. So Kala may be missing an opportunity where with a Zealots, Zealot Mind Drag, something like that, because of the dedication of the tech forces pulling back, might have been able to do something sinister at the Mineral only. Instead, going to do, yeah, going to press in and do what I was talking about, I think in game one, Use the defensive struck the, the natural defenses of this map where you have kind of these buildings in the way to be annoying and harass that mineral expansion. Some vultures trying to sneak through, do what they can. Again, trying to clear out that pylon to potentially establish a fourth. Siege tanks clearing out the Goliaths underneath. The carrier is trying to keep that Goliath count low. Observer, the spotting observer, which actually be critical for kind of picking them up over the low ground, doing some damage. Scan. Expending a lot of scans here on the low ground. Zealots coming in from the north. And that's a lot of siege tanks exposed and Goliaths exposed. This is the kind of unit combination you want. So many zealots pushing in. This is just too much Protoss meat pressing in. And that actually might be a GG from scan, honestly. I think one carrier got taken out there from the high ground. But he's got a bunch of Goliaths on the ground. But there's so many zealots to engage them and take them out. His third is in complete breach right here. More units starting to pour out to reinforce from Kala as well. And the Goliaths can't deal with the ground forces of Kala and the carriers, it's just too many. Although that's a lot of Goliaths pressing forward. I actually got a, so as I say that, I take that back. Took out that carrier. More reinforcements coming from the north though. Keep in mind they do have level one weapons, level one armor. Versus level one weapons, opposite corner. But usually you want, you know, more siege tanks, not just a pure Goliath force. Kala, not able to have a concentrated army to engage this, and as a result, it's going to back off. But still, he's sitting at four bases. He's mining off a lot. He's getting more carriers out in the field as more Dragoons producing underneath. Scan trying to press out with these Vultures. To get a little bit more map control. And actually, there, it looks like there was a ninja base here taken bottom right-hand corner from Kala to be in a position to go for that refugee toss style, which is going to be really strong with those carries up in the air. Plus, blockading a potential fourth. Scan relying on vultures to try to sneak across the map. Again, trying to deny additional bases. He's got his own command center in production, but is still sitting at that same factory count. And here, yeah, 
you can see Kala just kind of grouping up around these map features and playing map control with those carriers and those dragoons over these edges and still might be able to do some annoying harassment and thin out this SCV count over this wall. 172 supply versus 140. Goliaths able to engage that from below, but the Zealots and Dragoons able to engage on those Goliaths while those tanks are unseach underneath. The Goliaths having to do double duty here, provide both kind of a ground wall reinforcement. And while he's, yeah, re-engaging to that right-hand corner, Kala just re-pivoting and repositioning and cycling back around and getting more SCV kills across this mineral only. Yeah, I like this build from Kala on this particular map, and you can just see where it's just devastating. You can just pivot around, force your Terran opponent to come to you, and then just retreat, get some more SCV kills, retreat. There's a mine freaking out somewhere, <laughs> trying to go after those Goliaths, or trying to go after those Dragoons. And while Scan's doing all of this, he's critically not slowing down Kala's economy, nor is he taking an additional base, which is not the position you want to be in. Carriers, again, retreating to this corner. It looks like one carrier did get wiped out there. This is a lot of Goliaths, though, underneath all of this. But still, Scan having a lot of trouble. Looks like he was able to finally take that 3 o'clock base. He's got a pretty sizable bank, but Kala is sitting at 170 supply overall. So that's mining. He's somehow established that in the middle of all of this insanity. 3 o'clock base is up. More carriers being produced. Kala is still in a good position to go ahead and do that refugee style. And again, yeah, you just see just really abusing these map features. Here's the other thing is, is like scan just has to pour out the, the scans to keep an eye on these carriers and their locations over this. And even with the scan, even with the scan, still just punishing these Goliaths and those siege tanks overall. See if these are a couple of Dragoons going to get wiped out. Nope, looks like the Zealot's going to get on top of it. The Zealot's doing what they're supposed to do and face plant into those mines. Good job, Zealots. So, Scan sitting at two functional bases. That main, well, main's mined out. So three-ish functional bases, but his natural starting to get somewhat thin. Call is sitting at four base, or sorry, three bases as well. Uh, yeah, three bases, because his, his main and natural are mined out. So might want to be thinking about taking an additional base himself. But critically, he is at 200 supply. He's got this carrier fleet, which is just wandering around. It seems like just free reign, wiping out everything. And this is going to be a big win. If he can take out this 3 o'clock base, just kill this command center really rapidly. So wiping out all the turrets. And then very rapidly diving into this. Also, reinforcements pushing into the rest of this, so that command center melting. Melting under the carrier fire. This is a big fleet overhead. Scan in a lot of trouble. At half the supply, yeah, it has some Goliaths on the ground. Only level one, he hasn't kept up, it looks like, with the weapons upgrades overall. So still selling at level one weapons. Psy Storm is going to be here in not too long to provide some additional support underneath. Kala has map control. He has a huge carrier fleet. I think he has a tech lead overall. Everything going in his favor currently. And you can just see the white pressing into the red across various positions on this map. Handful of probes getting into the fight here to the north. Manor probes. Maybe to free up a little bit of supply. Looks like we do see a base that's setting up to establish with that observer. But scans mineral only once again getting assaulted but gonna call gg right there too many carriers hope you guys enjoyed it i think that is it for the show matches again special thanks to team think quick and esports fund check out more bsl action and i think yeah now i am officially going to dive back into bsl season 12 hope you guys enjoyed it thank you for listening